All right, alternator. Let's take one apart and figure it out. Let's see. I'll be using that one. Let's grab some tools, take it apart. All right. So, what we're gonna be doing is uh, taking this out, and because this one's good, we're gonna put it back on, but just to show how to replace the, uh, the connector piece, all right? The first thing, if you still have it on, is your uh, wire connection for your positive, for your battery. Then you have three, one, two, and three, eight mil bolt of nuts on me and with that you should be able to remove the cover all right so this is your bridge rectifier. We're not going to be messing with that. We're going to be taking off the uh, the brush assembly and then the voltage regulator. All right. This one got a little burnt look to it. We'll inspect it, make sure later that it's still good right here. This was a junkyard alternator from an eighth gen. All right. <coughs> so. The brushes should be those two Phillips right in there. You can add these two right here. All right. This is your. Uh, your brush assembly. Now to reinstall it, I'm gonna prep it now. What you can do is take a really really small Allen wrench. You're gonna slide it to this little hole and you're gonna push down on the brushes. Alright. And then on the other end it's gonna be another little hole. I don't know if you can appreciate that, but that's how you keep the brushes in to reinstall it. Alright, and you want to keep it flush right here, because if not it will interfere, but that way when you put it back, it's literally just there, two bolts, pull that out. Keep the assembly together so we don't mis uh, misplace it and or use the wrong one when we're reassembling. <coughs> Now we move on to the voltage regulator. So looks like you have two bolts, one's a Torx, one's a Phillips, and it's soldered right there. We're not taking off the, the uh, bridge rectifier which turns alternating current into direct current. We're removing the voltage regulator and well this is the like, this is the exciter, the voltage regulator and the uh, connection of course. But that's what we're after. comes to some of these alternators even though they're for the same car they're made by they're made by different companies and the internals are different so before ordering any of these parts you need to make sure which alternator you have all right okay so now we need to unsolder that bit right there see how far it is soldered looks like it might be fairly simple 
Once it's warmed up, it should looks like it should go up. And there it goes. Alright. So once you have your new one, then you're gonna do is just repeat the process back. Alright? So theoretically, let's say that this is a new one. And now we're going to reassemble it. So obviously because this has solder in it, it's, your new one may not have solder in there, so you're gonna need solder. <coughs> Here's your solder. Now be mindful that my soldering gun is old and not as strong. It's only 100 watt. There's better ones out there. Faster, stronger ones. So you're just going to line everything back up. And so this one has solder and then we're going to heat it up and then slide it back down. Solder sometimes helps the uh, thermal transfer, so I'm going to put some solder in it. There we go, it's all the way back down. Now we just want to make sure that the solder is good and secure. And just like that. Now there's a little solder blob, I don't like it so I'm going to remove it. And if you were replacing this, you were you would be done by now. So now we're going to reassemble it. Um, like I mentioned again, you need to line that up with this uh, Allen wrench to hold the brushes back in. Push it down. Take it out. And put the two screws back in it. If you do have an impact and you don't have exper experience with it, I suggest that you do it by hand. I've been doing this for so long that I know how much ooga dugas these things can take. Always start all the hardware you are reassembling to prevent stripping. And once again, if you don't have experience with the Uga Uga, I suggest you do it by hand. And that's it. Alright, that's how easy it is to replace this connection on the alternator for an 8th gen Honda Civic SI. Like I said, there's other other uh, variants to these alternators made by different uh, manufacturers. 
they may have a different internal so always inspect first before ordering your parts sounds good all right